Hey guys, so this is going to be my first update. Um, I'm doing a year-long Project 20 pan, and kind of how it's set up is I have a product from each category of my collection, and I have a goal for it. Some of the categories I have like a specific item I already talked about in my intro, and some of them I didn't decide yet. Um, so yeah, I have my list here on my computer in front of me, um, and I will just go ahead and say that like this is a little bit of a spoiler for like any of my project pans, so I do a rolling five pan, my pan that palette, and then also my empties, so just be warned. But I'll talk about like those products more in those videos. This is just kind of like a quick update. So anyway, um, face primer, I did finish that goal. So the face primer I wanted to use up was the Mirad Invisibler. I just finished it up this week, so I'm pretty pumped about that. This has been in my rolling five pan for quite a while. So yeah, that is done. The next category was foundation, and I finished up the Illuminari Mattifying Mineral Foundation. I had it in the shade Porcelain. I mixed this in with other foundations. I really enjoyed it, but it is gone, so I have my foundation checked out for the year. Concealer, I want to finish up the Pixi Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It comes in this little green jar. I love this stuff. Um, there is just a tiny bit in there, but I was kind of saving it because I want to talk about it in my empties, like with the consistency and color and stuff. But yeah, this is done. Um, okay, for powders, I have two powders picked out for the year. So the first one is the Hourglass Dim Light um, Ambient Lighting Powder. I use this as a setting powder. As you can see, I'm almost done with it. Um, I'm getting very close you know, against these edges and whatnot. I did just post on Instagram about tips because I like to use this all over my face. And I had a lot of tips of using like a smaller brush and I tried that kind of, but I kind of felt like it got a little bit splotchy. Um, so I am just using a stipple brush and just kind of like sweeping the product up and it's working. So if not, I might just crush this up and kind of use it as a loose powder. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I definitely think I'll be done with this by the next update. I do plan on doing these updates quarterly. So just so you're aware. Okay, the other powder I had is the Tarte Smooth Operator. This is the pressed version. I love this powder. It's my favorite powder. I have oily skin. This is just my ride or die, holy grail, all those terms. Um, but yeah, so this is the pressed version and I want to finish it up. I do have pan on it, as you can see there. So I'm working away on this one. Um, doing pretty good. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Okay, the next category is bronzer, and I just want to hit pan on a bronzer. Now, I don't have any, like, small size bronzers I could just, like, really focus on in my collection, but I'm rotating my bronzers, and I think this is going to be the one I kind of focus on the most. It's from Jane. It's the Inspire Bronzer. It's a matte bronzer. It's a really nice consistency. It's not too dark. Um, like if you have fair skin, you should definitely check this out. They used to sell this at Ulta. It's no longer there, but I believe it's at Kohl's. Um, I'm pretty sure it's there. So I would recommend this one. I know I think I can hit pan on it because on this side, um, I have quite a bit of this side pan and it doesn't have to be a ton of pan. I just want to hit pan on this. So I'm going to be working on this throughout the spring and then in the summer as long as I can. But once I, you know, kind of get a tan, this might not work for me. So I might have to put it away and pull it back out this fall. But this is the one I think I want to try to hit pan on. So hopefully that can happen. Okay, blush. I would like to also hit pan on a blush. And for blush, I think I'm going to try to work out of this palette. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush um, palette. This was a limited edition item. I actually tracked this down after it was sold out. But they are all small sizes of the blushes. Um, I think this is kind of the way to go for me. I've definitely been paring down my collection quite a bit. Um, and I think over the summer, I'm going to be focusing on this palette quite a bit just because I have some more fun, kind of louder colors. So I don't know which one in here I want to hit pan on, but I want to hit pan on a blush in here. I'm leaning towards either I Will Always Love You, which is this kind of like shimmery, like peachy shade, or Baby Love, which is just kind of like a nude rose. We'll see. Um, I do have Baby Love as a single, so I might kind of go and go ahead and try to hit pan on that one just because I already have it. But yeah, this is what I think I'm going to be focusing on for blush. Okay. So for highlighter, I had two options, and I'm realizing that I didn't pull one of them out, so let me just grab it here from my drawer. I either said I will finish up a liquid highlight, and the only liquid highlighter I have is from Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this is in the shade Moonstone. Um, so I did just draw a little mark on there so that you could see where I'm at. So I'm about halfway, give or take. This is the travel size. Um, so I either want to finish this up completely this year 
or hit pan on a powder highlighter. And what I've kind of decided for powder highlight is I'm using the Laura Geller Bake French Vanilla Highlighter. I love this. This is one of the best highlighters in my opinion. It's just a perfect everyday highlight. There's no shimmer. It just kind of adds a sheen to your skin. If you work in a very like maybe professional setting or you're not comfortable with like a big like ba bam highlighter, try this one out. I really, really love this one. So what I've been doing is I've been putting this down every day. I put it on the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and like my cupid's bow. And then I might have another highlighter. Like right now I'm loving the Makeup Geek Glitz highlighter. It's like a pinky duochrome one. Um, and I'll just hit that at the top of my cheeks. Um, so it gives me a little bit extra brightness on days that I want it because this by itself can be too much. But this alone sometimes isn't quite enough. So I've been kind of mixing them. So I kind of figure if I use this every day and, um, you know, just kind of use it as a base highlighter, I could probably hit pan on it, but we'll see. Um, it is a domed baked product, but there's only 1.8 grams. So I feel like it's really not that much. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, if I don't hit pan on that, I think I'll probably finish this by the end of the year. I like to mix this in with foundation, so we'll see. Okay, um, next I want to hit pan on my contour. I use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I got it in this little palette here. Um, it comes with a highlighter, um, the sculpting powder here, and then the cream versions and a couple of eyeshadows. I use this white eyeshadow every single day in my inner corner. I love it. But anyway, um, I've been using this contour shade for about a year straight. Nothing else for contour. Still haven't hit pan. I'm very fair though, so I don't need much product. Um, but there is a really nice dip um, you know, dent in there. So hopefully I can get pan on that product at the end of the year, just not yet. Okay, so moving on to kind of eye products. I want to finish up my eyeshadow primer. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. Again, I made a little mark for you. Um, so I'm about halfway basically. I love this eyeshadow primer. I use it every single day. This is my second tube of it. I will, I mean, I do plan to purchase it again once I'm done with this one. I think it's a great option. Okay, I want to finish up one single eyeshadow, and this one is with my Pan That palette. Um, it's the Ulta Single Eyeshadow in the shade Bone. I've had this in my collection for years. Ulta still sells single eyeshadows and still sells this one, but they're smaller size now. Um, this is 2.4 grams. So I do have Pan in the center here. Um, it, it's kind of like dulled down though, but there is Pan. But I just use this every day um, as my brow bone highlight and to set down my primer so that my shadows blend better over it. So I want to finish this guy up and I'm, I'm sure I will. Okay, the next three goals are to hit pan on an eyeshadow and all those eyeshadows are in my Pan That palette. So I'm kind of double dipping here, but whatever. So this is just a little bit of a preview to my Pan That palette. I did hit the goal on one of them. I hit pan on a new shadow and it is the black shade right here. I use it to set my liner. So I did finally hit pan on that. So I still want to hit pan on this kind of mauve shade and on this deep purpley plum shade. I think I'm going to start using this purple plum to set my liner. I actually have it set on my liner today. Um, and I incorporate this kind of mauve shade in my eye looks most days, just kind of in the outer crease kind of area. So anyway, I'd like to hit pan on those. But I did hit pan on the back on the black, so that counts. Okay, an eyeliner I would like to finish up is the Makeup Geek Sp Full Spectrum Eyeliner in the shade Nude. I need to sharpen this guy, but um, that's about all I have. This is also in my Rolling 5 pan, so I do make roughly monthly marks on this guy. So, um, okay, lip balm, the Bite Agave. I don't have it here with me. Um, I left it in my car along with my lip gloss, but um, the tube of it is about... I would say there's only about a third left of it, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think I can definitely finish it up this year. I've been trying to use it um, before bed, and then also when the, you know, it's kind of windy where I live and very cold yet, so I try to, like, just put it on so that my lips don't get as chapped. Lipstick. I'm almost done with this stinking lipstick. No, I, I do really like it. It's the Too Faced La Creme Spice Spice Baby. That's seriously all I have left. It'll be gone very shortly. Um, just a tiny little nub barely peeking over the packaging. I'm not planning to dig down into this. I've had it for a long time. I don't need to keep going with it. Um, it is what I have on my lips today. So I'm almost done with that. My lip gloss, I did finish up a lip gloss. It's the Bare Minerals Sugar um, Mini Lip Gloss. I was going to say Spice Spice Baby, but that's not it. <laughs> it's the sugar one. It was a small size. It's about this size. It came in a duo with this, which is a liquid lipstick from Bare Minerals, which I love this formula. You should definitely check it out. 
Um, so it's, it's, you know, this size, so it's easy to finish up. I just put it in my car and it's done. Okay, a cream eyeshadow I'd like to finish up is the Essence um, 2-in-1 Cream Shadow Liner that I use every single day as my base. I don't think I'm going to use it up. There's so much product in here, you guys. Um, but I do want to just keep working on it. And I think as soon as I'm done with this eyeliner, I might try to use it as my inner rim kind of color too. Um, so this is how much I have left of it. So quite a bit yet. So I really don't think I'm going to finish it up this year. I just kind of dab it on my eye and then tap it in and then I go ahead and put my shimmery lid shade over it. Um, so I really don't use that much of it. Um, if I were to scroll it all the way down, it's like barely under the lip of the plastic there. So it's not like I've used that much, but, um, yeah. Okay. And the last one is I want to finish up a brow product. I originally had my Anastasia, um, dip brow pomade blanked on the name in blonde but this is so gummy i've had this for years probably close to three years now um i've revived it over and over and over and over and it's just to the point where i can't really even pick it up with my brush because it's just like uh it's just gross so anyway i moved on to a different product i am using the nyx tame and frame right now it's all right i mean it's working for me but um so i'm counting this and then i also finished up this guy this is the nyx micro brow in taupe so i finished both of these so i'm going to count that as one brow product um so yeah i just went through my list i hope it wasn't too quick so let me count here one two three four five six i finished up six of my 20 goals so far i'm pretty excited about it obviously i have you know finished other makeup other than these products um, that I've shown you, but those are the ones that are counting for this project. So yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully I will continue to have success. I will update you guys in another three months. That'll be the halfway mark. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will have some pan or something fun to show you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you're doing a year long project. I know a lot of people do like 17 in 2017 or, you know, things like that. I'd love to check them out and see how you guys are doing. Or if you're just doing any sort of project pan, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. So I will see you guys in my next video.